colleagues now. Manisha Gupta is joining in. Good morning, Manisha. What's how precious are precious metals this morning? <laughs> Well, pretty precious if you look at the month and this year until now as well. So this is going to be a third straight month in the month of April that we will be closing it on the higher side. So if you look at the gold prices, we are 5% up and uh, the silver prices have gained up by 8% for the month of April. It has been an all-time high that we've hit in gold and silver, both of these commodities within the month of April itself. From its highs, yes, the gold prices have come off by $100 and silver is off $2 an ounce as well from its three-year highs in the global markets. And for the Indian market, silver had hit an all-time high of 88 thousand rupees. It's trading at around 81 to 82 thousand right now. The markets do believe that with the expectation that the US Fed rate cuts now seem postponed is the reason that you have seen this profit taking come into the markets. Uh, it, it has to do with the safe haven buying though and with the price correction, the retail buying within the Indian markets also seems to be gaining up. Remember, we've entered into wedding season now. It is Akshay Trithi on 10th of May. So there are bookings that for gold have started to happen. So the retail buying, uh, physical buying has been supportive with the kind of bit of a profit taking that we have seen in case of gold prices. More importantly, it is the US Fed meeting tomorrow and the China PMI data, well, that comes in on Thursday. So these couple of events and data points will tell us on where the gold prices can move from here on. The markets do believe that for the near term, it's a bit of a profit taking that you can work with. But the second half of gold, most uh, Wall Street banks and brokerages and analysts believe that all time highs in gold prices are yet to be seen. Indeed, and the Fed is almost having everybody on the edge, right? Will they cut rates? Won't they cut rates? When will they cut rates? If not, then... No, when this start? time, I think they're not supposed to cut, but everyone's yeah. trying to guess whether they'll stick to stick three to rate it. hikes this yes. year or not, or whether they're, they're going to sort of, you know, offer some clues that that whole narrative has changed. So, yeah, you're right. I mean, the market's always on the edge when it's a Fed meet. <laughs> More importantly, if they do offer a clue, then you're on the edge as to whether three weeks later they'll come up and say something completely different as to yep. what they said. <laughs> so, all eyes on the Federal Reserve. But time for a short break here on...